Advent in this boys 800 meters. And there is your lineup. Longmont of Germany, Vivas of Spain, Hampton of Denmark, Day of Canada, Langford of Great Britain, Sedessa of Ethiopia, Vidaliuk of the Ukraine, and Lacoste of France. And all eyes will be on lane number five. Kyle Langford of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. There he is, the slim British athlete, the world number three this year. One minute 49.02 seconds. Has a real opportunity here, does Carl Langford, to progress into the semi final and maybe beyond these World Youth Championships. And he's the fastest man in the field, of course, being third ranked in the world. And no other athlete has gone under 1 minute 50. But he may have a challenge, depends how these middle and long distance races are run. And maybe it will come from this athlete, Dmitro Begaliuk of the Ukraine. Flaps his arms, tries to get himself involved. He knows he's on home turf. The crowd give him a little bit of a round of applause as well. He lines up in lane number seven. So this is heat number four of five in the boys' 800 metres. Remember, first four only, guaranteed qualifying for that semi-final with the next four fastest. <laughs> no time recorded for the athlete in the centre of the picture in lane six, Dessa of Ethiopia. We will see what he produces. <laughs> So the gun goes, and Carl Lanford of Great Bristol, Northern Ireland, getting in between the Canadian and Zedessa, the Ethiopian, and they break, they're allowed to, after the little markers that are put in after 100 metres, and they come across the track. The German, Philippe Longman, trying to hold the inside line, but Great Britain's Carl Lanford is not having any of it, and neither is Ethiopia's Abrahali Tedessa. Langford looking comfortable. A wonderful 2013 season so far for the young man. It's all bunched up together in this four feet. So come round to the bell. 55.94 seconds for Langford of Great Britain. He is leading them all as they go around the first bend for the final time. Down into the back straight is Britain, it's Ethiopia, it's Germany in third with Philippe Lonman. And also poised and potentially ready to pounce is the Canadian car today. But the early leader, Carl Langford of Great Britain, puts his foot down. He's taking the Ethiopian with him. The Germans hanging on as well. And a nice battle developing for the fourth automatic qualifying spot between Canada and the Ukraine. The local boy, the Ukrainian, trying to hang on to the pace. But Langford from Great Britain, easy qualifying for the British athlete. As for the Ethiopian, Podesta. A big battle for fourth and the Spaniards coming through. Now Vives gets the fourth automatic qualifying spot. The German raises his hand in the air. And it was a nice, clean race. Heat number four of the boys' 800. And Carl Lanford Peter of Great Britain, Northern Ireland, mature beyond his years here. Look at him, looking at the ground, very comfortable. Very comfortable indeed. And again, he ran it very well, I thought, because he controlled it at just the pace he wanted all the way through. Front ran it, but without going too quickly. And with a 1.49 time to his credit, I mean, he knew that at that sort of pace, he was comfortable. He got something left if necessary. He only needed to run 151.88. But I, I think that was a very nice run. And uh, he's living up to the potential, I think, a number of people have said that he's got. He is a, a fine young talent. Only just in this age group. He was born in February 1996. And uh, I think he's someone to look out for in the final. Not maybe one of the favourites because I think some of these Africans might claim that ahead of him, but he looks good. He looks good indeed. We hope he negotiates for the semi-finals to come and eventually a place in that boys 800 metre final. Very good running indeed. So many of these athletes here today on this first day of these World Youth Champions.